All right, what's up guys? I'm here in Northern Michigan right now. I'm finally gonna get to do some fishing for some wild trout today and tomorrow, hopefully. There's the river right there. This is the Manistee River. We just got here. I've never been to this spot before. We just kind of pulled up. We like to find random little off the road spots to try. And this spot, I mean, look at that. That just looks amazing. I cannot wait to get down there. I'm fishing with my dad today. I'm just gonna get my fly rod out, probably throw around some nymphs or something. It's kind of windy, so I don't think the dry fly is a good idea, but this spot just looks amazing. I cannot wait to get down here and finally fish for some wild trout. Finally, just a little guy. Could be dinkier. Oh, he's unhooked. That's a fail. I. This net has a hole in it. There's the fish. Would have really liked to get a close up of that fish. All right, just in case you guys didn't figure out what happened there, there's a hole in the net. It's like my old crappy net. I lost my good one. And the trout kind of just slid right through the hole. So we tried to patch that up as best we could. And there's another one rising upstream. So hopefully we'll catch some more just like that. And I can actually show them to the camera. That might be a little better one, actually. There he goes. Like a little rainbow or something. Let's see if the net works this time. Oh, it's another brook. Just got this pretty little brook trout unhooked. Decent sized one for this area. Really pretty fish. Always fun to catch fish like this on the dry fly. Oh, there's the sun. This one's actually way smaller. Nice deer fly. Fun little brookie. All right, we just got to the new spot. We basically just drove upstream on the same river. It's a lot smaller here, but definitely more swift and rockier. Hopefully we'll catch some more trout down here. Maybe some different types or maybe some bigger ones, hopefully. Got some nice little steps right here. We're just gonna get right in. Oh! <laughs> Missed him. Got him. Got him. Another little brookie. This one's prettier though. The water's a lot darker here. Oh wow. Yeah, the fish are totally different here. They're a lot darker. Pretty one. First fish at the new spot. Very pretty brook trout. Come on, go. All right, so this spot, not exactly great for us. It's a little bit faster water than I like to fish. Did catch one more small brook trout on a dry fly though. That's always fun. We're gonna try one more spot, I think, before we call it a night. It's been a pretty decent day in Michigan so far. All right, so we moved spots again, and now we're at the Al Sabal River. It's a similar kind of river, but this river is definitely more famous. This is the Holy Water section, which is just specially regulated for trout. So it's a really good spot to catch trout on the fly. 
One just rose right there. I'm gonna get rigged and get going because I'd like to catch a couple more fish on the dry fly before the day's over. All right, so I haven't really explained what I've been doing it all today, but basically I'm just fishing a little attractor dry fly pattern. Nothing too serious or fancy without focus. There we go. Just like a size 14 or something on a 5X tippet. You can't really see, but there's a couple caddis flies flying around. No real hatch going on. But this dry fly is what's been working best. There is a little rise down there. Usually I'm just throwing it up next to some trees or any kind of cover. It's working pretty decent. Oh, that was aggressive. Dang, how did I miss that? Dang it. That's the one. Brown. Whew. Oh no, not there. Oh, it's a pretty one. Oh my gosh. Wait to see the spots on this thing. Finally got a nice one to rise on the Osable here. This is a really pretty fish. Holy waters. On the holy waters, this is what you want a wild trout to look like. Those spots are just amazing. It's not the tiniest brown either, it's a decent fish. Especially for a pressured area like this. A ton of people come and fish this spot, so I feel super lucky to have caught this fish right here. Ready for the release. Sweet. So I finally decided to stop being stubborn. I changed flies. I got a small little elk hair caddis here. Hopefully that'll get bit a little bit better. Seen a couple caddis flies on the surface. GoPro's about to die, so we're on limited time here. Hopefully we can catch one or two more fish. Rising right here. What a degenerate right next to me. Brookie. I don't know how this fish didn't see me or notice me. Come on. Pretty little brooked out though. Wow, I look foolish. That is seriously a pretty fish. I love catching trout like this. So much prettier than the stalkers we have closer to home. Thanks, dude. So we are done fishing for the day. I had a really good time catching some small trout. No huge ones, but they're always fun to catch even when they're small like that. Tomorrow we're gonna do some more trout fishing. I think I'm gonna make it a separate video though, just cause I think I have enough content here for one short video. And I'm not sure if we're even gonna catch fish tomorrow. We're going to some different spots that we've never been to before. So hopefully that works out good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.